Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sadie and today I have the most exciting fucking video ever. So as you, some of you may know that I had a lovely DM from Jeffree Star Cosmetics asking me to be part of the family and they were like, would you be interested? And I was like, fucking duh. <laughs> Honestly, I have loved Jeffree's products since day one. I literally remember the first ever products I bought were Rose Matter and Ice Cold. I remember it launching on Beauty Bay at 10 o'clock in the morning and I was literally sat at the computer fucking ready and I ordered it like that and that's where my love grew. Um, I own every single one of his palettes. I've always made sure I had money to buy his palettes. Yes, I was never maybe always afford the whole entire collections, but honestly, I am on fucking cloud nine. I didn't think I would actually get this collection. I thought, oh, maybe I've just missed out on it. But um, as I might sound like a broken record, as you all know, I work nights, um, I do 40 hours a week. And um, I was lying in bed ready to get up and I was like, fucking imagine if I just go downstairs and the box is there. wrapping paper I've never had Jeffree Star wrapping paper I've always ordered from Beauty Bay so ah! so yeah I literally have the whole entire blood sugar anniversary collection I'm getting emotional I need to start god I need to like get a grip I'm a mum and those hormones never leave you so I get emotional very fucking easily um, actually I'm just gonna tell the story a bit first like I said um I literally it was a couple of hours after he announced his um, reveal his reveal video and I was messaging my friend Rupert and we were just talking about it being like I was like oh my fucking god that vault the palette the, the the highlighter palette I was like it looks amazing and we were just joking and he said will you just hurry the fuck up and get on that PR and um literally five minutes after I went on Twitter and I just um on Jeffrey's latest tweet with him revealing the video I just literally was just like hey these were my photos using all your products and I listed them and I was literally in the middle of like my fourth tweet and then I was like on my phone and the notification came down and it just said Jeffree Star Cosmetics hi and I was like actually I'm going to show you my face what I done when it happened da -da -da -da, tweeting tweeting I was like Duh. And the funny thing is, my phone froze and this message disappeared and I was like, oh fuck, if I just dreamt all of that, am I being fucking crazy? Um, so I closed my phone down and then I opened it back up and there was the message saying, would you like to be a part of the JSC? Jeffy loves your work. Um, I ran downstairs, Dan was currently gaming and I was just hyperventilating, being dramatic as per. And... Um, he like flips his headphones up and he's like oh my god fucking what, what's matter and I was like I, Jeffrey's asked me to be part of the team and he was like oh fucking hell what someone died and put his microphone back down he did eventually come and congratulate me because he was in the middle of a game um why am I getting emotional fuck I literally called um loads of people video called them and they were like what the absolute fuck are you calling me for because i never video call people really um and i told them all and they were like oh my god you need to stop crying for one but i'm so happy for you <laughs> yeah honestly i really i'm getting a bit emotional because i was on such a high and then i went on such a low like i went through just twitter and i was like why me um i don't deserve it and i got really down so I'm not going to get too much information because I'm just going to fucking cry and I don't want to ruin my makeup. So honestly, Jeffrey, if you're watching this, don't tell me if you watch it because I'll shit myself and I'll have a heart attack. Um, the fact that you've seen my face is just fucking enough for me. Um, honestly, I cannot thank you enough. Oh God. <clears throat> People are going to be watching this video like I just want to be here for the reveal. I don't want to see you fucking crying. Um, oh well. Okay. Okay. <laughs> thank you fucking so much honestly just thank you i thank you that i can't i can't go into more because i'm just gonna cry okay all right i can show you what's in the box these were wrapped up really nicely but duh of course i had to like un open them when they came and i put my instagram stories and blah 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 um so obviously we have the uh limited edition blurred sugar palette in the white packaging 
when he revealed the photo, I was like, what the fuck's the white palette? What the fuck is the white <laughs> I was like, what is that? And then obviously when he unveiled it, I was like, oh my God, it looks so fucking good in white. May I dare say, I prefer it in the white packaging. I don't know. I think everything just stands out a bit more and I'm pretty sure my cavity shade is gonna come out. So I'm trying to be very careful. Um, but yeah, it's, it looks so good and it's like so weird to hold it actually because it's so fresh to have the original and it's just they got look so good together look at them i could hold this so better but i can't we also then have the mini palette which i absolutely adore this i think when i saw it even though yes there's only one new shade and i saw a lot of people go on about it it's such a good cohesive palette and like you said it's the main shades that are used and it goes so well with it and I love this. It's like pixelated, but glittery and sparkly because I love that kind of thing. So you open it up and you have the amazing, iconic blood sugar photo with Jeffrey with the pulse. What's it called? Shit. You know, you know what I mean? Um, across his face and also that has the glitter effect on them as well. And you open it up, you've got a little mirror and you have the shades glucose, sugar cane, ouch, sugar, no. Candy Floss, Wisdom, Sweetener, Prick, Cherry Soda, and Coma. Um, I actually use this palette with this look. This look isn't included in this video. I've actually recorded it on a separate because I wanted this video dedicated to just what the actual collection is, what it looks like, swatches, blah, blah, blah. But I will literally upload the video used and everything. Possibly tomorrow. We'll see. Why my hair looking all shiny and good? Because I actually washed it for once in my life. Um, so yeah, I absolutely adore this mini palette. I love his mini palettes. I love the mini uh, jaw breaker, the mini breaker. Um, I love the mini controversy ones. So yeah, it's all the minis got. Mini orgy, yeah. So yeah, I absolutely love the packaging of this. I love the simplicity and I love his face on it as well. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna give too much away. This is my fave one of now my favorite fucking things to come from jeffree star cosmetics um so this is the cavity skin frost highlighting palette obviously the outer packaging got the cavity over it i love this with you can see it changing in the light it looks orange and it looks red then it looks duochrome amazing then you have the inner packaging the actual carton i love the shininess it's also raised as well so you can actually feel it um, I just love it. It's all over as well. It looks so bougie. This is what it looks like on the inside. So you've got the shade Ice and Ivy, Candy Frost, Rose Gold and Frozen Prick. Um, I'm just going to say it now. I'm obsessed with this palette. I 100% recommend this. Oh, I'll even give it a, like bleh, bleh. As soon as I saw this, I was like, oh fuck that looks absolutely stunning the shades absolutely beautiful as well um yeah so i can't wait for you to actually like see it. i will swatch this all for you blah 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 but they are highlighters but they when i was watching the video i literally thought the word hybrid i was like they are literally a hybrid of a blush and a highlighter so i do actually have it on so you can literally see from frontwards it looks like a blush and then you turn from the side and it still has that glow to it absolutely stunning and then we have the mirror um, so yeah, it's a soft matte touch mirror, a gradient from white to red. Oh my god, it's so nice. I only have three mirrors from Jeffrey. I've got the Blow Pony one and two of the Shane Dawson ones. Um, and I absolutely love these mirrors. I don't know why I'm invested in more, but um, it's they're so nice to do your makeup in. Even though it's in a star form, it's so easy to do your face in. They're really, really nice and lightweight. They don't hurt your hands when you hold them. Such nice mirrors. And then last but not least... I fucking gasped when I saw this on the reveal video. I literally was like, open. When he was just talking about it, I was like, open the fucking thing. I was like, let me see the colours. Um, yeah, this is amazing because the white on here is actually iridescent. I don't know if you can really see it on camera, and you might do, um, which is a really, really nice touch to the actual packaging. This has got some weight. It's not ridiculously heavy, but it is just so nice. It's soft matte touch as well. Um oh my god it just looks so good so this is what it looks like inside as you should have already used it and i've got makeup already on it <laughs> this is another thing that i absolutely loved can you see like the quilted effect of the j star i thought that was such a really nice touch which i don't think you really saw in the video i didn't know it was there until i literally opened this 
and oh my god pinks and reds are my favorite colors and oh no i do love my nudes i'm not gonna lie um these are absolutely stunning there were 16 new shades i do have some of these in full size and i'm really gutted actually because i really want to do a compare swatch video because i've just ordered all of his lip bundles um but they're currently stuck in america because of the weather so we'll get to that one day but yeah here are the minis i don't have any minis hence why i bought all of his lip bundles because they're on offer and yeah i honestly can't wait to swatch these all so they have new shades you've got bubblegum i think romeo was in the valen the yeah romeo was in the blood sugar reveal one wasn't it or the valentine's one can't remember cavity queen supreme sweet tough sugar pie candy giant prick fire starter pink veins cherry soda sucker punch heart rate heartbeat pink cows forbidden, forbidden fruit bite my tongue and misery he's stunning i can't wait well i finally got when me and Dan finally have enough money to buy a house and I can have this in the back. Oh, I need the new one, but you girl got no money. Okay, let's talk prices. So for the original and the limited edition palette, they are both the same price and they're 52 US dollars and normally they're 52 pound on Beauty Bay as well, so great British pounds. The mini palette is gonna be 28 US dollars. It normally is around the same price, uh, you know, same number, 28 British, but uh, it normally is 28 pounds on Beauty Bay, or maybe just a little bit less sometimes. The Cavity Highlighter Palette is 38 dollars. The Blood Sugar Liquid Lipstick Bolt is 160 dollars. I think it's normally 120 on Beauty Bay for the nude one, so I assume it's the same price. And then it's 25 US dollars for the soft touch mirror and I'm pretty sure it's 25 pounds on Bebo. Okay, I'm gonna do some swatches of the palette. I've got the obviously original and I have the new. Um, it kind of kills me to swatch this new palette because I don't want to touch it, but I'm gonna do it for you guys anyway. And also I'm gonna swatch the mini as well and we'll swatch the cavity palette. And then I'm actually gonna do lip swatches of all of the new shades and remaining shades that are in the vault. Okay, so from left to right, you've got glucose, sugarcane, cake mix, ouch, donut, intro, oh my god, introvent, oh no, never mind, your super palette, I can't say that word, candy floss, tongue pop, sweetener, cavity, zero positive, and root canal. Then the last row is prick, cherry soda, fresh meat, blood sugar, extraction, and coma. Okay then, so we have the mini as well. I just wanted to swatch this and show you individually what this color looks like. Um, so obviously Wisdom is the brand new shade within the palette. This is gorgeous. As you can tell, this is what I've got on my lids uh, with a bit of prick. Um, yeah, absolutely stunning shade. I say in the video, I don't understand how the shade was never made before. Okay then in the mini we've got glucose, sugarcane, ouch, candy floss, wisdom, sweetener, prick, cherry soda and coma. Um, I did notice with coma that it was just a little bit more hard pressed in the mini palette than the other ones. I then actually wanted to compare wisdom to other shades I thought could have been similar but as you can see they're well off. Um, this is wisdom, this is Anne Watt from Jawbreaker and this is cherry soda from the blood sugar palette. Uh, the cavity highlighter palette then you've got ice and ivy candy frost rose gold and frozen prick how fucking amazing is candy frost i also thought i'd compare some um actual skin frost that i have of this collection this is ice cold this is i've forgotten crystal ball princess cut lavender snow and peach goddess so yeah they are like completely different all of these shades are absolutely like really unique within this collection okay so now that you've seen eyeshadow swatches i'm now going to go into the lip vault but before i actually do it on my lips i'm going to compare it with other existing shades so i thought were quite similar on the reveal video okay really really similar but not all the way there so this is jeffrey what the fuck this is prom night and this is pink veins pink veins is the brand new one out of the vault um probably say pink veins is the closest but pink veins still has this brightness to it and a little bit more of the neon sort of pink um whereas like this is a hot pink and yeah they are still really different but they are still very very close um jeffy what the fuck is my absolute favorite color um i'm sorry for the like shininess but they are drying down still this is problematic and this is pink house the brand new one out of the shades very very similar but this is just more mauvey and this does have more of a purple tone that's a shade checkmate prick 
fire starter and oh what's it called cherry soda cherry soda is very similar but it has that more deeper red and also in this video i'm actually going to be giving away my another blood sugar palette um I actually was going to give this away in my 1k giveaway because I hit 1,000 subscribers on the day I also got Jeffree Star's PR list and um, yeah absolutely amazing and I just thought what a great opportunity while recording this to also announce that I'm also giving away a blood sugar palette. You have to be 16 years old or over to enter this giveaway. Rules are simple, you have to subscribe, follow me on Instagram and comment down below with somewhere where I can contact you etc your Instagram handle. So yeah good luck. Okay, firstly, before I start this swatch, I just want to say I'm so sorry for my skin. It's broken out and I spot I picked this and it couldn't cover it. Um, I'm just so, so sorry. It's so textured at the moment, but your girl has to wear a mask for 12 hours straight, so. Okay, so the first shade is Bubblegum. Next shade is Romeo. Next shade is Cavity, and actually, Cavity is what I've got in my waterline. Next shade is Queen Supreme. Can I spray for my lips? They're already starting to burn. This is going to be an extra colour in it. Oh my god, it's awesome now. Next shade is Diva. Oh, this is pretty. I thought I had like it. So I have like a gold reflex. They're really pretty. The next shade is Doll Parts, which I have in a full size. It's all dried up, but it, it still works okay. Next we have Sweet Tooth. Tooth is what I'd say being Welsh. Sorry, I didn't record that bit, I accidentally pressed, oh, well I didn't press it, this is Sugar Spike. The next shade is Candy Joint. Okay, next shade that I have is Prom Night. Then we have the shade Prick. Then we have the shade Fire Starter. Next shade is Pink Veins. I have red all over my lips, but it's okay, we're almost there, we're almost there. Next shade is Cherry Wet, which I have in full size. Next shade is Cherry Soda. Wow, my lips are fucking hurting now. Red one. Wifey. Hot 
part, right? Part B. Pink house. Forbidden fruit. Unicorn blood. Bite my tongue. Guys, I've got pink everywhere around my mouth when I'm on the last fucking one, thank god. And the last one is Misery. Okay, ignore my lips because I've got pink all around them now. Um, but actually what I've been wearing is Forbidden Fruit and Prick Ombre together. Um, just a quick note that some of them are really quite liquidy. Um, I didn't shake any of them, so that was probably why, because they've probably just been sat there for a little bit longer, um, just sat there for a little while. So do shake them if you do have them, just in case. He does recommend to shake them anyway. Some were very, very similar with each other. So if you couldn't afford the whole lot, just get the colours that you are. Like some of the reds, like from um, Sucker Punch onwards, were quite really, really similar on the lips. There was still a difference, but you know it, it's very very minute differences so don't forget that this is launched friday the 26th of february um i'm pretty sure it's 10 a.m in america and it's 6 p.m normally here in the uk etc on beauty bay is it bang on three years was the blood sugar released on 26th of february because actually it's me and dan's anniversary tomorrow as well on the 26th we've been together for six years so that's very exciting and i'm gonna stuff my face with the chinese bring on the ribs i don't know 100 percent. i don't think beat bay has announced anything yet that i know it's going to have it. he said all of his retails are going to have it but i don't think they've actually announced any prices or anything but they're normally the standard 52 pound per palette so let me know down below if you're going to grab anything from this collection i highly recommend the vault blood sugar anyway is iconic if you don't own blood sugar what you're doing and the cavity palette is absolutely gorgeous i'm i know i'm going to wear that constantly and i'll probably hit pan within a few weeks because I am absolutely smitten by that palette. And um, duh, the mini. If you don't have the money to fork out for the blood sugar, um, yeah, completely understandable to get the mini. It has all the basic shades you need in there anyway, and also the brand new one called Wisdom. So I just want to say thank you again to Jeffree Star and the team and for everyone who has supported me. Literally when I um, I announced it on Instagram, like the amount of love and messages I got off people was absolutely amazing and I can't thank you for everyone who supported me and I know most of my following on here has been through Jeffree Star, I know a lot of people on here are Jeffree Star um, f subscribers and uh, love watching me for my reviews on Jeffree so honest to god I can't thank you enough, I'm going to start crying again, I need to stop. For me it wasn't even being about honest PR, I'd done it on Twitter for bants, I never was like he ain't ever going to choose me, I literally only have 15, well now 1600 people on Instagram and I've only got 1k on on YouTube, what the fuck am I gonna do for him? But I honestly can't thank him enough and even a few people even noticed, they were like, it's amazing how he looked at a, a smaller influencer, oh, yeah. oh, I hate saying that word, a smaller creator. Um, so honestly, I, I, can't, I can't thank him enough. Like he honestly has made my day. He's one, saved my bank account fucking massively. I mean, sometimes I'm like, do I feed my child or do I get the palette? It's a joke. I'll always, I'll always have money for my daughter, don't panic. Yeah, please let me know down below and don't forget to enter the giveaway. Um, let me know if you're going to buy anything from this collection, if you already have it. What what don't you like? What do you like? Let me know. I'd love to reply back to you all. 
so yeah thank you again to Jeffrey and the team honestly thank you I need to just shut up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well before you go and I hope to see you in the next video bye